Good morning, guys. It is already, I think, past eight or probably nine already. And I just finished my Pilates, my meditation, my morning ritual. I'm doing good right now. Right now, I am just waiting for my boiled egg. And then I'm gonna have some coffee, which is French press coffee. I still have a lot of uh, tummy fats. I love to work on this. <laughs> I felt like I'm getting fatter here, but I can work on this. Anyway, I think two days ago, I made a post or I made a vlog regarding our expenses. A lot of you have actually been saying, there were like mixed comments. Um, some are saying, wow, 1,000 US dollars is actually um, cheap. Some are saying it's too expensive for if you're, if you're just um, living in the Philippines. And I would say it really depends on your story. I mean, we all have different stories. Some people are supporting, they, they have kids, they have families to feed, they have uh, parents to take care of. So you can never ever judge a person by the way they, they spend their money because you don't know their stories. And in my case, or, or in our case, my husband and I decided to support our both of our parents. Our parents are still alive and still okay. Uh, but apparently, we just have to support them. Um, my parents' side, they don't really ask for any help. But because we are supporting my husband's parents, because on their side, they really need support because of the medicine that they're taking. I don't want to be unfair with my parents as well. So we decided to make it fair. So equal. It has to be if we support his parents, then we should also support our parents. So far, we are able to support them by our business. Maybe you're also going to ask me why we are still supporting our parents. And the answer to that is why not? Um, here in the Philippines, we have this culture of, you know, us taking care of our grandparents, the old, the older generation. I think that is because of our culture. Um, I used to live in Singapore before, and I can say that I felt bad when I see old people still working in their senior years. Um, when I worked in Singapore, I saw um, aunties and uncles probably in their 70s already and still, you know, um, working like uh, wait staff or in the supermarket and stuff like that. And I have nothing against that. Probably it's their own way of uh, making their, themselves um, productive. But as for me, um, I just don't like the feeling of seeing old people working. And that is one of the reasons why we are supporting our parents. Because if we don't support them, they'll be having a hard time supporting themselves. Because, you know, they're limited when it comes to the physicalities already. The next thing is that we don't have that much of facilities here not like the first world countries countries that they have um home for the aged facility and for us i think we have a few but we rarely use them most of the time the old people or the grandparents the old parents they just stay with us even aunties extended families they just 
stay with us as long as they live. And it's hard. I can say it's hard. I think it's harder to take care of the old people than taking care of the um, children or kids or babies. But it's also, I think, a blessing that you're able to take care of them. I mean, who else will do that if you don't take care of them? Um, also, it's a way for you to save money because instead of sending or paying for a, how you call that? Is that a nursing care or something? So it, it, instead of paying a person to take care of your parents or your old parents, then if you take care of them, then you save a lot of money. We are just um, happy and we are glad that um, our parents are still able to move themselves around, especially my parents. Actually, my parents are older than my husband's parents, but apparently when it comes to, you know, the health condition my parents are still way more healthy and this is the reason why i really wanted to be healthy as well because i wanted to be in that old age where i can still have that quality of life that moment where i can still move around travel and socialize with friends and stuff like that and that's what my parents do and that is the kind of life i want like be able to just live your life to the fullest without any limitation my parents are on their mid 70s already can you believe that and they still still travel far far distances my father still drives he will be celebrating his birthday 75th birthday in the next four days so we are very excited for the celebration it's going to be families and friends only but you know reaching the age of 75 with a really good healthy body is actually an achievement so that is my goal that is the reason why i do take i'm taking care of myself um i'm going back to my old good habits i used to actually work out before when i was still flying as a flight attendant and then i stopped now i'm back again having a good night's sleep um right amount of sleep as well is very important just so you know if in case you're asking why we still have to you know support our parents so yeah for the moment just gonna enjoy my coffee ah uh, and this one cherry tomatoes from our backyard mm. I'm just waiting for the boiled eggs to finish. Uh, I'm finally done with my breakfast. It took me some time to actually finish because I was so engrossed with uh, the video that I just watched. I'm actually learning how to uh, raise uh, day old pullets those are the chicks for layers so they call themselves pullets so from the old pullets until lay laying okay laying laying chicken or layered chicken so that's what i did every day i start feeding myself for me to learn something new because as you all know we are already expanding so at least by the moment um, we will start the expansion. I already have an idea how to do it. Um, I'm actually the one learning so much 
from this uh, layered chicken um, business. My husband is into operational and uh, maintenance, but for me, I'm the one just guiding him. So it's a good teamwork though. Uh, I just needed to gather some ideas from other farms because, you know, not all farms have the same practices. So you just have to pick some points, whichever is applicable to you. And then, yeah. So right now, I am just washing the dishes. After this one, I'll be cleaning the house. Then I'll take a shower. And then after that, by lunch time, yeah, I'll be preparing my our lunch. And then after lunch, we are going to head to the farm. So I'm gonna just finish this one, and I'll see you later. Okay? Hey guys, I hope you can hear me, but it is raining so hard here in our province. Let's see. The situation outside. So I was doing my laundry and then since the washing machine is outside there's not much of you know protection when it comes to rain for that. So I immediately stopped it because I don't know if it might get grounded. So yeah, I am not done with my chores yet. Though I'm done with cleaning the house, my husband is still not here because he got stopped because of the rain. So I'm about to prepare our lunch now. And I hope the rain will stop very soon. You know what's sad about having a new house is that every time it rains, I have this mixed emotions because you're not really sure how your contractor made this uh, building. So if it's really super waterproof, because you know, here in the Philippines, we have so much of rain. And like a few months ago, our bedroom was flooding. I hope it got fixed already. And I hope we won't see any dripping anymore in the ceiling. For now, I'm going to be cooking our lunch. I've already called my husband and I told him that it's raining really hard here. Be cooking ground pork and beef. I'll mix it together. I'm gonna be putting egg and then I'll just fry it. We bought this almost three weeks now, so it's been stuck in the fridge for a long time, and I don't want to spoil it. Our chopping board is actually having so much mold already. That is because it is made of wood and yeah I think because of the humidity here it's hard to maintain a clean chopping board. What I'm gonna do right now is I'll just um, put salt, pepper and stuff like that and some other spices. So I put this and then the onion. It's finally a Friday today. So I get to have some rest with vlogging. I always look forward for my rest day. Well, I still treat this since I'm already earning money from this, uh, from my book vlogs. I already treat this as my as a job but at least i'm enjoying it but of course you need to have some downtime as well so you don't get you don't feel burnout. 
also a lot of people have been asking me for my previous vlog the one that i posted about our expenses that i didn't put our rent or our mortgage um i'm happy to say that we don't pay any rent or mortgage for the house anymore this has been paid off before we left qatar we made sure that we don't have any mortgage to pay because otherwise that's mostly like 40 percent of your uh, monthly allowance so we made sure that that one is already taken care of it's rainy season here in the philippines so some other parts of the country are experiencing floods and other calamities already i'm glad here in our province or in, in our place we don't see much of flooding because we don't have so much buildings here we have so much of we still have a lot of land when there's water it's still okay so right now i'm slicing the onions I'll put oyster sauce, the secret recipe. If you can hear the thunderstorm, I hope our dogs are okay. Probably they're already scared of the thunderstorm. But so far, Mackie is not crying, so I think she's okay. So yeah, I just mix it well like this. And normally I add um, starch or cornstarch. So this is what I normally do if I want to taste it's a small portion. I guess this one is already cooked. I'll just let it cool down. Let's try it. It's good to go. Then continue, I'll pour a little bit only. I guess this will be two batches. Now I'm gonna be checking our dogs if they're okay. Hello! Hello! Maki, go, go outside. Okay, okay. Hello! No, no. <laughs> Hello, Marie. Hello, baby. Come to mommy. Want to come to mommy? Come, come, come. Come, come. Come. <laughs> They're playing. 
the playmates, right, Ate? Come, 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 Marie, Marie, Marie. So I guess this one is almost finished. So this is how it looks like. Yum, yum, yum. 